centimeter cube of oxygen diffuses through a porous plug in 50 seconds. How long will 80 centimeter cube of methane, that is CH4, take to diffuse through the same porous plug under the same conditions? Solution. To solve this question, we'll be applying Graham's law of diffusion, which states that the rate of diffusion of a fixed mass of gas is inversely proportional to the square root of its molecular mass, provided that the temperature and pressure remain constant. It implies that at a constant temperature and pressure, that is when the temperature is not changing and the pressure is not changing as well, the rate of diffusion, that is the rate in which the gas is moved, is always inversely proportional to the square root of its molecular mass. And it can also be the square root of its density based on what we'll be dealing with. But here we'll be working with the molecular mass of each of the gases. So to start with, let's write out the equation involved. We have mathematically R, which is the rate of diffusion of gas, is inversely proportional to the square root of its molecular mass, which is represented with capital letter M. So now to have an equation involving two gases, we then have R1 over R2 to be equal to the square root of the molecular mass of the second gas over the square root of the molecular mass of the first gas. Here the subscript of 1 and 2 represents the first gas and the second gas respectively. And the first gas here, our one here, the substrate of one here will be standing for oxygen. So let me say gas one, that is the first gas, is oxygen. Why the second gas? Let me say gas two, the subscript of two is methane. So now the next thing to do now is to determine the rate of diffusion of each of the gases and as well as the molecular mass. So let's start with the molecular mass of each of the gases. The first gas, oxygen, the molecular mass of oxygen. So oxygen gas is O2. So we can say M1, which is also same thing as MO2. Here now I'm replacing one with the symbol of oxygen gas. That is the molecular mass of oxygen gas now. O2 is, we are having to calculate the molar mass, we have 16, 2 times, that is 2 atoms of oxygen present, times 16, which is equivalent to 32. Therefore, to include the unit, then we can say 32 grams. So we've done that of oxygen. So now for methane now, we have M2 to be equal to M subscript of CH4, the chemical formula of methane. So now, to calculate the molecular mass of methane, now we have one atom of carbon present and the atomic mass of carbon is 12. So we have 12 plus that of hydrogen, we have 4, 4 atoms of hydrogen present. So that's 4 times 1. So this gives us... 12 plus 4, which is equivalent to 16. So we can just say 16 grams. That's the molecular mass. So we've calculated the molecular mass of each of the gases present. Now, after doing this now, let's look at the rate of diffusion of each of the gases. So to start with now for the first gas, which is oxygen, R1. So I have R subscript of O2 that is oxygen gas will be the volume volume over time that is the volume of the gas divided by the time taken so from the question here now we are made to know that the volume of oxygen gas is 200 centimeter cube why the time it took oxygen gas to diffuse is 50 seconds here then we now have R O2 to be 200 centimeter cube divided by 50 seconds, which is equivalent to 
four centimeter cube per second. So that's for oxygen gas. Now for my thing now, that's R2, the second gas. We have R subscript CH4. I'll follow the same procedure as in that of the oxygen now. So let's go back to the question. So from the question here now, we are made to understand that 80 cm cube of methane diffuses through the same porous plug under the same conditions in an unknown time. That is, we are not given the time. And that's what we are being asked to calculate. How long will 80 cm cube of methane also diffuse under the same conditions? So then, we, the time t remains unknown here. So since t, which is the time, the time is unknown, we know the volume, we can't proceed. So here we take the rate of diffusion of methane gas to be unknown. So we are moving forward. After doing all of this now, we've gotten m1 we've gotten m1 we've gotten m2 we've gotten r1 but r2 remains unknown to get r2 now we'll be going back to the equation we have then make r2 the subject of the formula so i'll be writing out the formula again we have r1 over r2 to be equal to square root of m2 over square root of m one. So replacing them, which is also equivalent to be rate of diffusion of the first gas, which is oxygen, over that of methane, the second gas, to be equal to the square root of the molecular mass of the second gas, which is methane, over the square root of the molecular mass of this first gas, which is oxygen gas. So let's state the values again. So RO2, from the previous calculation, we have that to be 4 cm cube per second. We have RCH4 to be unknown. We have molecular mass of methane to be 16, 16 grams. And we have the molecular mass of oxygen gas to be 32 grams so now let's substitute the values so ro2 that's 4 so neglecting the unit now to make a calculation easier and faster so we have 4 divided by rch4 we have that to be unknown which is equal to the molecular square root of the molecular mass of methane which is 16 square root of 16 divided by the square root of the molecular mass of oxygen gas, which is 32, square root of 32. So here we now have 4 over RCH4 to be equal to square root of 16 is 4, Why square root of 34, we have 4 root 2. Then proceeding, we have 4 over RCH4 to be equal to 1 over root 2. So to remove this square root, we'll be squaring both sides so as to make the work easier. So we have sixteen over RCH four to be equal to one over two. Don't forget this is squared. So now. Making R squared the subject by cross multiplying, I have to get R CH4 rather. So I have R squared subscript CH4 to be equal to 16 times 2 over 1, which is equivalent to 32. So to have R now, then I'll find square root of both. So I have R CH4, so I'm finding the square root, root of 32. Then I have 5.66. 5.66 then the unit centimeter cube per second so with what i did here now i've just calculated the rate of diffusion of methane gas according to the question we are not done yet because we are being asked how long that is the time 
since the rate of diffusion of methane is 5.66 per second, so we can say that 5.66 cm3 of methane CH4 diffuses in 1 second. So now 80 cm3, according to the question, that how long will it take 80 cm3 of methane to diffuse under the same conditions? So I say 80 cm3 of methane, that is CH4, we diffuse in x seconds. So now here yeah, now, x, to get x now, I'll cross multiply indirectly. So then I have x to be. 80 centimeter cube of CH4 multiplied by 1 second over 5.66 centimeter cube of methane as well. So here now, calculating this, I have X to be 14.13 seconds. Now taking seconds to be a whole value, I can say x is then equal to 14 seconds, which serves as the final answer. So with this, we can say that it will take methane 14 seconds to diffuse under the same condition as oxygen gas. And that will be all on that. So the final answer now is 14 seconds. Please, I would like us to subscribe to this channel and also click on the notification button just to be notified as soon as new videos are being posted here. Thank you.